Having spent over a year living with a global pandemic, we hope it will prove to be a once in a lifetime experience. There is of course no guarantee that we will not see another pandemic in our lifetime, given the complex nature of the modern world with its high level of international travel and interconnectedness. There are lessons to be learned from past pandemics. It's important that we do not let lockdowns or the need for social distancing diminish our creativity or curtail innovation. Throughout human history, plagues and pandemics have been regular occurrences. Shakespeare is one of the greatest dramatists in the English speaking world, yet his life was dogged by the disruption caused by outbreaks of plague. It was during the significant periods of quarantine when the theatres had to be closed that Shakespeare used his time productively, writing some of his best known plays such as King Lear, Antony and Cleopatra and Macbeth. During the lockdowns, you have demonstrated your resilience and creativity by producing performances using the medium of modern technology and creating innovative resources to support our schools and educational partners. You are to be congratulated on these achievements as well as successfully completing your course. Another notable example of how someone made effective use of their time while isolating at home was Sir Isaac Newton. He had just finished his bachelor's degree at Trinity College, Cambridge, when it was closed because of a plague outbreak and he had to return home to Willsthorpe Manor. Newton spent much of this period engaged in the reflective thinking that would shape modern physics. Some historians have referred to this period as Newton's year of wonders. Having to adhere to social distancing didn't deter Newton from making a significant contribution to human knowledge. Similarly, the lockdowns of the past year have not prevented scientific achievements from being successfully pursued in a range of fields, not least in the development of new vaccines. We stand in awe at the outstanding leadership shown by scientists like Professor Sarah Gilbert, who designed the Oxford vaccine. This should encourage us not to be held back by the circumstances we find ourselves in. At this graduation cer celebration, and hopefully in the near future, when we can enjoy a traditional face-to-face -face graduation ceremony, we celebrate the fact that the academic success rates of our students has remained high during the current pandemic. We acknowledge the excellent work done by our staff who have continued to support, encourage and challenge you through these difficult times. Congratulations on all that you have achieved in this unusual academic year. Global health crises creates many tensions and concerns National governments invoke crisis management strategies as they try to control the spread of disease and contain its capacity to ravage the structures of everyday life. We all know what it has been like to live under government imposed restrictions. However, we must never lose sight of the fact that times of crisis can also be periods of innovation and change, which helps to move society forward in a positive way. We have witnessed the amazing achievements of scientists in the race to develop effective vaccines against the coronavirus. This has been a vivid demonstration of what can be achieved through global collaboration. In college, some wonderful examples of accelerated innovation have also occurred. We have made significant advances in the use of blended learning tools to promote teaching and learning. We have witnessed the positive environmental effects of reducing our reliance on paper-based systems and we have increased our technological engagement with our partners worldwide. We have moved from a high-performing institution that serves our local community to one that is able to operate in a 21st century 
global world. Our recent nomination to the final shortlist of the University of the Year Edufuturist Award verifies this claim. So while we are disappointed that once again we have been denied the immense pleasure of having a face-to-face -face graduation celebration, we're not despondent. We can look back and be proud of what we have achieved together as a college community. It would be easy to fall into the trap of suggesting that this generation of students has lost out because of the pandemic. I would like to turn that thinking on its head and suggest that you are a special generation, a generation shaped by a crisis outside of your control, a generation that has had to learn to adapt to succeed, a generation that has had to think and learn on the move. You have been through a transformative experience that will serve you well in the future. There will be many exceptional leaders spawned from this experience. Professionals who, in the words of Apple, General Electric and Nike, think different, demonstrate imagination at work and just do it. John Baptiste is an exceptionally talented American singer, musician and performer from the state of Louisiana. Speaking recently about his love for soul music, he noted the importance of keeping life in perspective and focusing on the bigger vision of life. Remember, he said, that above all our problems, there is purpose. I wish all of you every success as you move forward into a new chapter of your lives. May you look to that bigger vision and discover the plan and purpose for your life. Best wishes. I'm
Congratulations on finally making it to your graduation day. I'm sure it has seemed like a long journey, particularly for the graduating class of 2021. You will go down in history as the graduating class that survived a global pandemic and made it to the end, mostly intact. We are very proud of you today, uh, your family, your friends, the staff here in the college. Um, it's always a proud day, graduation, but this year particularly so, considering what you've been through. Your resilience, your determination, uh, your grit right to the end has been very much appreciated by all of us here, so well done. Of course, you're not just a Stranmillis graduate for one day, um, you're a graduate for the rest of your life. And we hope very much that you will come back and join us for professional development courses or for master's programmes. But whatever you do, you are still part of the Stranmillis community from today on. So well done and thank you very much for all you have contributed to college life during your time with us. Since the dawn of time, vast numbers of a subspecies of humans called Homo studentii have travelled in their hundreds every autumn from all over this living planet to a sacred place on the southern fringes of the great city of Belfast called Stranmillis University College. This is one of nature's greatest spectacles. They gather from the freezing wastes of Enniskillen, the dusty plains of Makarafelt, and the steaming jungles of Ballynahinch. They join subgroups such as the lesser spotted ECS students, or bands of predatory HPAS students, or the ravening hordes of teacher education students. They come to meet, to play, and sometimes even to study. And when their thirst for knowledge is complete, they disperse to colonize the furthest reaches of the globe, following a process known as graduation. Graduating students of Stranmillis University College 2021, I salute you. The destiny of this fragile world is in your hands. Go forth and make your mark on planet Earth. Congratulations everybody uh, on your graduation this year um, and uh, well done on getting uh, this far in your academic careers. I was thinking of my own graduation and it's 25 years ago now uh, since I graduated and in those days of course there was uh, a, a big celebration, lots of people, um, gowns and strawberries and cream and, and even some champagne. Unfortunately that's not going to be the case for you this year, at least not in college and not down at Queen's, but hopefully you'll be able to celebrate uh, with friends and family and perhaps uh, in your garden and hopefully with some uh, warm sunshine. So well done, it's been a difficult year. We all uh, recognise that and particularly well done on, on getting through uh, with your dissertations and school-based work. We really hope that you uh, stay in touch with us here at Stremilis. We would welcome you back at any time uh, onto one of our professional development courses or master's courses. Uh, and please do keep in touch with all the friends um, and the academic staff that you've worked with over the last three or four years here. So well done, congratulations. Congratulations on being awarded your degree. It's a real pity that we can't get to celebrate in person today, but we're really proud of you. Well done. Hello, I'm David McKee, Head of Health and Physical Education here at Stranmillis, and I'm sanitising my hands, taking my masks off, mask off, all the things that have become the, the, the new norm over the last 14 months. And to the class of 2021, I want to offer a wholesome praise and give you credit for the achievements that you have managed to do despite the adversity that you have faced as you've tried to study in a global pandemic. The new skills that you've developed, the engagement with online learning, not just the engagement but the development of a wide range of skills which hopefully will serve you well as you make your way forward in your careers. To my graduating BSc Health, Physical Activity and Sports students, I want to uh, space pay special mention. I'm sitting here in 0223. You, you may recognise the space, you know, the central space that we use for many of our degree classes. And yet, 
it's nothing but an empty shell without you because actually the true joy of the teaching and learning experience for me has always been face-to-face -face interaction with the students. And I think of the happy times I had it here with you as we did body systems and exercise science, the challenges, the laughs, but fundamentally the memories and joy of a shared experience. Now, obviously, a lot of this has been missing from the 2020-21 year, and we've done our best. You and the teaching staff have done our best to ensure that you have had full access to your learning experiences, but it hasn't been the same, and we don't want to kid ourselves that. So congratulations to you for what you've managed to achieve. Please remember, you will always be part of the Strandmillis family, and we look forward to getting updates as you make the next stage in your career. And please remember that we will always be here for you if you need any help or assistance. To all graduating students, I wish you success, health and happiness. You've earned it. Hello, Sheila Carvel here from Early Childhood Studies. I just want to leave this short video message with you as you graduate from your BA Honours degree. It's been a very challenging year for everyone, but you have really shown the true nature of your professionalism by the resilience and determination that you've demonstrated in completing your degree programme. The staff on the ECS team and the staff and our collaborative partners in Newry and Oma are extremely proud of all of your efforts. We know that you are going out into the sector as a very special group of early childhood studies practitioners. You have a real understanding of the challenges, the challenges in terms of emotional development and in terms of health and well-being that the children will be experiencing too. You've overcome those things and shown that real standard of professionalism. So I'm extremely confident that you'll be able to apply that across the course of your career in a way that will be for the benefit of children and families. My heartiest congratulations to you all, and I wish you and your families a very happy graduation day until we can see you all again. Well, did you think that the three or four years that you've been here would finish so quickly? And what a strange uh, last few months or year that we have had um, with COVID. But the wonderful thing is that you chose to come to Strand with us and we have enjoyed having you here and we hope that you have enjoyed your course while you've been here. Thank you for the wonderful contributions that you have made to the life of Strandmillis, um, both real in, in person and virtually. And what I want to wish you is success uh, as you move forward. And one of the things that I have learned in life, and it's probably because I'm an old person now, is that the bumps on the road are the rocks that we climb on. And when you come and you encounter a bump, look upon it as a climbing rock. And what does climbing do? It strengthens you. And when you're climbing, it suggests that you are moving upwards. Now, one of the other things that I want to say to you is, when you are that wonderful eagle that is soaring in the sky and you are achieving great things, the ravens will come along and will peck at you and will try to put you down. Don't give in. Do you know what the eagles do? They keep flying higher and higher until the raven can no longer breathe. Just keep going. I look forward to meeting you in the future and working with you as professionals out there, either locally or internationally, and looking at the success that you have achieved and that you have given as a legacy to Strandmillis and as ambassadors moving out into the future. Well done. Well, you have reached this stage, everyone, and it's so lovely for all of you. We're so proud of you for all the work that you've done with us over the last number of years. And we really do wish you a wonderful summer and a wonderful time in your new career. And um, just a few little things to send you on your way. So I'm going to let the pup down. And I've brought lots of these to remind you now that your summer is beginning. We hope that you're going to do lots of wonderful reading for pleasure and reading all of those children's novels to prepare you uh, for your practice, um, as well as lots of reading for pleasure.
But seriously, it has been lovely to work with you. I really believe it is one of the best jobs in the world and the greatest privilege. So we wish you all the very best as you enter this wonderful profession. And I want to say a huge congratulations to the class of 2021. Well done on completing your degree and graduating in what has been really a very different year for everybody. And I'm sure you're going to be really glad to leave the screens behind. We have been really privileged to work with you over the last four years. We've really enjoyed our time working with all the different classes and we can be very confident that you're going to go out and be very enthusiastic and engaging teachers of literacy. And I know that your um, classes will be places where you're going to really bring that passion for reading and writing with our young children. So well done, everybody, and we hope that you really enjoy this, your special graduation day. It doesn't seem like three or four years ago since many of you entered Stromulus for the first time. Where has that time gone? Over the past number of years, you have had many different experiences. You have faced many different challenges. You have had many different opportunities. You have developed new skills. You have gained new knowledge, you have gained a better understanding of yourself, and hopefully you have made many, many new friends. Friends for life. And to add to all of this, you have earned a good degree. This is something that you can be rightly proud of, so well done. Hopefully, as you graduate with many, you will graduate with many, many happy memories of your time at Stromulus. And as you do so, we wish you every success for the future. Part of the college mission statement is to transform the lives of children and young people. We wish you well as you seek to make this a reality. Well done. On behalf of all the post-primary staff, I want to congratulate you on your fantastic achievement. Today you should be proud of what you've achieved and know that a whole new era of your life is about to begin. It has been our privilege to work with you over the past four years, preparing you to enter the teaching profession. Every day in your working life, you will have the opportunity to change a child's life for the better, whether it's an 11 year old in year eight or an 18 year old in year 14. Today represents a significant achievement for a number of people. Each of you know your individual journey over the past four years. Be proud of your achievements. Look forward to the wonderful future that lies ahead of you and go make a positive contribution to the teaching profession. The post-primary team send you our love and heartfelt congratulations. Beard Primary Graduates, Class of 2021, many congratulations. You have done a tremendous job this year and I have really enjoyed working with every single one of you. I wish you all of the very best as you now embark on your teaching careers. I have absolutely no doubt that you will all be fantastic teachers. Many congratulations. Here we are in the deserted corridors of Stranmillis University College Central Building. And just as the sign says, it's time to go, time to exit. And here we are on the corridors with all the signs saying, walk in one direction only. And I'm going in the opposite direction because there's nobody here to pass by. And what's more, I think I'm going to risk taking this off because there's nobody else here to see or hear me. And just to say, we're going to miss you, just as we've missed you so much over the past year in these empty corridors, the corridors that remind us of the ghosts of the students who used to be here in great numbers. And now when you come into this building, there's nobody else to be seen. So it's been great to know you. 
warmest congratulations on graduation. And remember, even though the corridors at the moment are deserted, we look forward to seeing you back here someday when the corridors are once again thriving with, with human traffic. And in the meantime, it's goodbye from me and goodbye from all of them. And remember, wherever you go, there you are. Bye bye. Folks, I'd like to join with my colleagues in wishing you the warmest congratulations on your graduation. Uh, an incredible day for you as you leave Stranmillis as a graduate of the college with a Bachelor of Education degree. Well, well done. A testament to four years of really hard, hard work. And it hasn't just been hard work. There have been so many interesting things and engaging things that you've done. And more of that in a little minute. But I just wanted to say, first of all, what a resilient bunch you have been. Uh, what a wonderful ambassadors you've been for the college in this most difficult of years. Who would have thought when you first started at Strand that the last year and a quarter, year and a third of your degree course would have been taken up? Uh, not being the social, sociable, practical, engaged students that you'd been all along, but really just having to sit in front of a computer screen and work remotely. A horrendous end for your degree course. But you've been so resilient and you've stepped up to the mark and never more so actually than in your last placement. And it's been wonderful for me to have received so many emails and calls from principals who've just been bowled over by how you've gone in with a smile on your face and helped in schools. And I've also risen to the challenge of showing yourselves to be excellent practitioners. So well, well done. So as you leave today, what have I got to say? What challenge have I got to give? You may recall that on the first day at Stram, I asked you to think about yourselves and what you knew and your experiences of the world and what you, right you had to go in and then teach children and young people about how to inhabit the world. I hope over the last four years you've risen to that challenge too and you've developed yourselves. I hope none of you are the same person that you were when you walked into Stram but that you have grown. I hope you've maintained those same principles and values in your life, but I hope you've developed yourself and had lots of experiences. I also hope you've made lots of friends. Northern Ireland, as we know, is a very small place and the education community in Northern Ireland is really small. And so that network that you have made will stand you instead for the rest of your life. But as you leave now, and I hope go into a job in a school, I'll say what I always say, and you've heard me say it before. Schools are quite rightly um, the centre of the local community, but very often schools tend to see themselves as the centre of the universe. Uh, and we can become quite narrow in our focus. And I'm just saying to you, become quite big in your focus. It's a big world out there, so have a big world view. Keep learning and keep growing. And remember this, never look back on your life and ask yourself the question, what if? What if I had done that? What if I had been brave enough to take that step? What if I had talked to that person that I'd always wanted to? Don't ever look back on your life and ask yourself, what if? Go for it. Be brave. Step out there. We let you leave from Strand now, um, knowing that you will make a difference. You will mould and shape the lives of children and young people for the next generation. You will change the world. So folks, I love you all as if you were my own children. Go out into that world and do brilliant things. Congratulations uh, to today's receivers of degrees and to those of you who in addition will receive prizes. We acknowledge especially your adaptability in the challenging time of COVID-19. Also, congratulations to staff 
all staff for all their industry and creativity in a time of pandemic. I'm not a psychologist, but I believe that active learning or problem serving or learning by experience is the best form of learning. However, mistakes in experiential learning are costly as well as valuable. Thus, we can turn to passive learning or learning from ex the experience of others, for example, in a classroom setting or digitally. So indulge me for a few minutes and you might learn something from my experience that just might be of value to you as you move to the world of work. First, with respect to learning, motivation is critical. You must want to learn. It is only after I left secondary school that I learned that I too had gifts, that self-actualization or fulfilling those gifts was important to me. It became for me a driving force and that I could do it. So if you didn't get a prize today, don't be discouraged. Secondly, self-esteem or how I see myself is very important. Thus how teachers see you is fundamental. There was a teacher in my secondary school, the late Brian Bird, who in all his dealings with me treated me as a person and thus built up my self-esteem. Thirdly, many of you will go to work in schools and for you the following will be critical. First, ability to do the job and a daily commitment to doing it. Secondly, self-confidence. After secondary school, I went to university and I became a vice president of the Students' Representative Council. And I served under a chap from Bestbrook called Geoffrey Martin. One day he turned to me and he said, remember Desmond, the world only takes you at the value you put on yourself. And I have never forgotten that statement. Thirdly, interpersonal skills. That is the ability to relate to and with people. And finally, treat other people as you would have them treat you. This university college, with its values, its strong commitment to the transmission of knowledge, its broad range of extracurricular activities, provides you with a springboard for life. Remember, this is a globalized world. So also think beyond these shores. Be a bird, fly, the world is yours. Whilst I have few regrets, I do wish I was your age.
Today is a special occasion as you celebrate the conclusion of your studies. On behalf of Queen's University, I would like to congratulate you all on reaching this very significant milestone. I know that you've all worked extremely hard to reach this point. You should all be proud, extremely proud of your achievements. You now join the talented and high achieving Academy of Queen's alumni, who for over 175 years have shaped the world in which we live, so creating a better world for those that follow. As a graduate, you'll always be part of the Queen's community. It's a community that I'm immensely proud of, not least because of how our students and staff and alumni have responded to the challenges of the past year. It's also a community that will play a key role as our society and our economy recover from the pandemic. And as Queen's graduates, you'll be at the very heart of that recovery. I wish you much continued success and look forward to hearing about your many achievements in the future. Congratulations again on this virtual graduation and enjoy the celebrations with your family and friends. Hello everyone. As Chancellor of Queen's University, I am delighted to offer my sincere congratulations to all of our 2021 graduates. You know, it's an understatement to say that the end of your time at Queen's did not unfold the way you had expected. I don't know what it's like to graduate during a pandemic, but you and your classmates do. And I believe that the resilience you've developed and the bonds you share with other members of the class of 2021, literally all around the globe, can well be two of your greatest assets moving forward. As you start this new chapter of your lives, I hope you will continue to support one another just as you've done here at Queens. And I hope you will build on the extraordinary skills you've developed during this unprecedented time, flexibility, determination, compassion. Because by now you know life doesn't always go as planned. There will be more stumbles and setbacks. Some will be painful. Believe me, I know. But remember, life isn't about what happens to you. It is about what you do with what happens. So please know that even the most devastating losses may open doors you never could have imagined. Just look at all you've accomplished here at Queens in some of the toughest circumstances imaginable. You're graduating during a tumultuous time, but it's a time that desperately needs people like yourselves who seek out truth, facts, and evidence, who embrace complexity instead of shying away from it, who use creativity and their minds to take on the challenges we face. The world needs you, Queen's graduates. So please go forth to solve problems. Be proud of the education that has equipped you to do that because we are certainly proud of you. And I know your parents, friends, families watching today are too. Congratulations again, and I wish you every success in the future.